Hey y'all, what's going on? This show right here is going to be a video um, of my RV um, on my camper. Um, this is for anybody that's got a um, window unit in the side of the RV instead of up in the ceiling. Um, <coughs> as you see, 2013 camper. Brand new. Yep, brand new. But the issue I had was my AC, <coughs> which is a window unit, a little small window unit, enough to cool this RV down, enough to freeze you out of here pretty much. Um, <coughs> it's got a uh, drip pan in it. Um, of course, the people who makes my camper no longer is in business now. They sold it to another company. And they're no longer in business. Um, <coughs> see, Skycat, and they're no longer in business. <coughs> so, like I was saying, if you got the AC, that's actually mounted on the outside. It looks like this. <coughs> I took this cover off. <coughs> and <coughs> I noticed that on this side right here see, see that little screw hole right there that little screw hole <coughs> which is that screw you can see it's rusted there right there is where my water was leaking out of um <coughs> when she was running for a long period of times and they said oh it's self-contained it won't leak blah blah and all that stuff right there well it does leak so if you do have an RV or a camper that's got the AC on the um, side of your RV you might want to get someone to take it to the dealership get them to fix it or maybe you want to fix it yourself so it does not leak in your wall and <clears throat> eventually leak down and destroy the side of your wall right here on the inside um, <clears throat> hey baby let's see if I can get you up there you can see in this corner right here different color of my wood and that's where she was leaking at and <clears throat> she was leaking down filling up this is the back of my refrigerator <clears throat> she was coming down leaking and changing the color of this right here and you leave it on for a long period of time so what I did is this little sealer, the roll of stuff that you buy. I end up taking this right here, putting it behind this right here. But before I put that on, I took the metal flashing that you find on your roof. As you will see that little metal right there. I took, <coughs> made it about six seven inches eight inches long um, <clears throat> about eight inches long six inches actually I think it was about eight um, <clears throat> I notched it down got about two inches on this side two inches on this side and about two inches down so she ends up being right about here and I folded it over underneath the drip, drip pan drip pan I put back before I put that back in I put a piece of this right here in between the um, RV of that new flashing that I put in and the RV the wall outer wall then <clears throat> put my drip pan back in there after I put this 
in between the wall and the drip pan. So when I put my screws back in, which I'm debating about putting them in, I'm thinking about just taking silicone uh, and sealing these right here up. So if it does leak, it'll run off. And it's supposed to run out of those holes, but they do not. Once this thing's actually up in here, I'm using my tablet here. <clears throat> I'm only about that much is being sticking out so she does not leak. So she's going to leak behind this right here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you can't help it, but with me sealing it up. I said I might just put some white caulk on this right here and not seal these up the bottom ones. Because <clears throat> when I'm not using my camper, it sits under my carport. <clears throat> <clears throat> and when I am using it and I'm out at the campground, my awning is out. But you can see. <clears throat> sits right there and then she fills this up and she leaks back in that little corner there. Hopefully I fixed it. <clears throat> I hope anyway. And this is up on my roof. <clears throat> I see the water in there. There you go, you can probably see the water kind of trickling down in there. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> if you got this right here on your roof, this right here is underneath of it. <clears throat> but, I went ahead and cut it to get my hands in there. And then I'm going to reseal it back with some tie wraps and everything to hold it in place. <clears throat> Because there's nothing wrong with this right here for me to have to replace it yet and um <clears throat> but I do see it hitting the fan and the fan is actually <clears throat> pushing it around I'm just checking the other side right here Make sure I don't see any leaks on the inside. I know she hasn't leaked on the inside at all. <clears throat> I'm just having a problem with it leaking in this corner. Right there. Hopefully when this pan gets full, she will sit in that pan and if she doesn't vaporize out, then she'll run out. <clears throat> so I'm just hoping it works. See a little drip right there coming from the outside. <coughs> but it would be nice. They would tell you stuff like this. Oh no, we shouldn't have to worry about it. It's a self-contained unit. Blah, 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 all that stuff. So now you see that it's not like that. Might want to get it checked to make sure you're, you're not destroying your RV, the walls inside, warping them and all that right there. So just a helpful hint for anybody that's got an RV with the um, AC in the side. <coughs> Uh, please check it y'all see you later